This episode of Brokerage in Motion was brought to you by Simplicity Group. Hello and welcome to Brokerage in Motion, your one-stop guide for everything happening in independent distribution. I'm Katie Fallinger. In industry headlines, Nailba's Summer Symposium promises to be better than ever this year. So make sure you save the dates, August 2nd and 3rd, and register on our website. You won't want to miss this virtual event. Renowned journalist and author Lisa Ling will be there for a discussion on breaking misconceptions and building client trust. And just announced, retired Rear Admiral Paul Becker will be presenting his uplifting message of teamwork, tone, and tenacity, and its impact on successful leadership and overcoming adversity. Again, be sure to mark your calendars August 2nd and 3rd and register at nailba.org. Meanwhile, new leadership at Integrity Marketing Group. The company has announced Tom Dempsey will join its executive team as chief distribution officer. Dempsey brings more than 20 years of leadership experience in the insurance industry and most recently served as head of Transamerica Financial Network and president and CEO of World Financial Group. And Finseca is celebrating its expansion after the official announcement to merge with Nailba. The D.C.-based group recently gathered more than 600 advisor members in the nation's capital for an advocacy summit, all with the overarching goal to give financial professionals a louder, larger, and clearer voice in Washington. And finally, a new face at Nailba. Brian Kennedy has joined the association as Senior Director of Professional Development. In his new role, Kennedy will manage all Nailba professional development and member resources with a special focus on the Nailba Certified Case Manager Program. A big welcome to Brian. Turning now to our industry segment, Nailba CEO Dan Labert sat down for a discussion with Phil Bouvier from Symmetra. Take a look. Thanks so much, Katie. Phil Bouvier, Senior Vice President, Sales and Marketing and Individual Life at Symmetra. You've been on the brokerage of motion before. I asked you to come back when you had all these new products going on and, and uh, you're here. So, you know, we're going to talk about Symmetra's latest and greatest, right? The Symmetra, Symmetra uh, Swift Term. Am I saying that correctly, right? Swift you are. Term. All right. <laughs> so let's no talk space. about Swift Term because it's, you know, we, we've been on the tour of the IMO meetings and a lot of carriers are talking about different products out there. And some of the ones, like some are raising eyebrows for different reasons. Um, but when it comes to Symmetra Swift Term, you know, their eyebrows are being raised around the speed, the efficiency. And, and I'm vastly curious, Phil, on how this all came to be from, from concept to reality on uh, Swift being created specifically for the brokerage space. Yeah, it's a good question, Dan, and thanks for having me again. I appreciate it. And I think maybe in our last conversation that we had, uh, we were either still in the throes of the pandemic or coming out of it. Um, and I used the phrase. You, it you, depends uh, who you ask. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, you know, I had used the phrase that we were at Symmetra E nothing at the start of the pandemic, and we strove to be E something. Uh, and then by the middle of it, we were E everything. Um, out of that effort to become E something uh, came this kind of a skunk work, skunk work project uh, we called Swift Term. And the goal was the stated goal at the outset, uh, buy insurance in 25 minutes. That was kind of the, that was the, the benchmark in front of us, the North Star, if you will, of the organization that, that was brought together. A uh, woman at our, organ, at our company, Mindy Work, put together a great team of folks who developed not only the technology, but the platforms and the product, as well as the pricing needed to support the process, uh, but never taking their eye off that idea to sell insurance, to buy insurance in 25 minutes. We are going to take just a short break. Don't go anywhere. There's more Brokerage in Motion coming up.
Streamline your life insurance application process with LexisNexis Life Data Prefill so your customers can get back to life. With a name, address, and date of birth, Life Data Prefill instantly fills in essential data for you to access and use at the point of sale, providing you, the carrier, with more accurate data early on in the application process helps improve efficiency and creates a better experience for consumers and producers. Now several new data packages enable you to incorporate even more insights into your application process. These enhancements help you proceed with greater confidence and enable more informed decisions that help you achieve your goals. Contact your LexisNexis Risk Solutions account executive to learn more. Right now, our IDY segment, where we shine the spotlight on the people in the profession and learn what drives them. This Snailba member draws on his creativity and wit in his work. And it doesn't stop there. Take a look. Steve Howard loves funny t-shirts. He's built up such a collection that at the height of the COVID lockdown, he began posting his funny t-shirt of the day on Facebook. And it was amazing how many people said that that was the one thing they really looked forward to every day. You know, it was a lot of times the one bright spot they had. The lockdown ended, but Steve's fashion statements didn't. He kept showing up in his t-shirts, determined to bring a smile to people's faces. The Nailba Charitable Foundation board receiving the same treatment. So I broke into their meeting this past Nailba wearing one of my t-shirts because I wasn't ready to get fancy yet. And uh, it's become legend with the uh, people on the foundation board. Legend indeed. Steve has been a passionate champion for the foundation for years. Why is the Charitable Foundation a cause that's so close to your heart? I love the fact that Nelda goes out and tries to find these charities that otherwise are underfunded, that Nelda decides to grant them money to try and help those that are much less fortunate than any of us are. It's support that carries over into his work as owner, publisher, and editor of Broker World magazine. I always try to put news about charities in the magazine and how the industry does try to reach out and make communities better. Started by his father in 1980, Broker World was the first publication of its kind dedicated to the life brokerage community. Steve went to work for his dad early on. He signed me on and I started stuffing envelopes and filing crap. And uh, after three or four weeks, he decided that, you know, well, he might as well see if I had any kind of future in this. He did. Now, decades in, Steve's maintained the traditions his father began, including the artwork that appears on each cover created by a family friend. And my father had him paint the covers. So every cover of the magazine is actually an original painting. Each piece carefully chosen for its illustration of that month's theme. Although the artist is no longer able to create new artwork, Steve has begun reusing cover art for new issues. I just don't want to lose that field of the magazine. I get so many compliments on it. Steve strongly believes in the importance of the BGA. He uses the analogy of an hourglass. At the top of the hourglass, you got all the carriers that a BGA can do business with. And at the bottom of the hourglass, you got all of the, the agents that the BGA can do business with. So he's really the conduit to get one to the other. It's why he's a longtime member and advocate of NAILBA, dedication that earned him the Chairman's Award in 2013. And while Steve still has deep appreciation for the association and all its members. For God's sake, please don't send me any t-shirts because I'm real damn picky about the ones I like. So <laughs> make sure and put that in there. Request granted. Steve was also thrilled when my questions ended. But I'm just tickled to death that I can now get out of this monkey suit and put on my next t-shirt. Here is today's t-shirt of the day. <laughs> ha 
And right now I am joined by CEO Dan LaBert. And Dan, at the top of the show, I mentioned Lisa Ling and Admiral Paul Becker are going to be keynote speakers for the Nail Bus Summer Symposium. So can you share some more info? What else is on the agenda? Who else is involved this year? Sure. August 2nd to August 3rd, save the dates. It's the compliment, complimentary registration. So it's open to the entire profession. Anyone could join. Um, we're going to hit on everything that's been very popular, right? Leveraging data, you know, in the, sort of this in the sales funnel, uh, new products on the horizon, um, the broker dealer relationship and, and sort of term life workflow ideas to support, you know, the return on investment clients. It's, it's really a deep dive into what's working around sales, what's new in technology, how uh, our carrier partners are, what, what they're rolling out for the end of the year, of course, all leading up to the big NELBA annual meeting in November. So uh, Policy Genius Pro, the leaders group, we mentioned legal in general, Lexus Nexus, Ethos, and AccuPoint Solutions, all sponsors of this year's summer symposium. We do have one more keynote that uh, will be on our docket, so be sure to check back for that. But we're gonna try and touch on a little bit of everything for everyone in the profession with complimentary registration, thanks to our sponsors. Yes, make sure you head to our website. You can register there, but we'll go from our summer event to our signature event of the year. You mentioned it. Let's talk about the annual meeting. So it's going to be here before we know it. Remind us when, where it happens. And also, do you have any keynote announcements that you're able to share yet? I can't share any keynote announcements yet, but I, what I can share is, you know, it, it's still November. Uh, it will be at the Gaylord Texan in Grapevine, Texas. We'll make sure it's a, it's a, it's a great event again. The keynotes will be announced after the September 1st um, uh, deadline. That's sort of our mark where we're doing some internal work. Uh, the more important date though, to keep in mind is Monday, August 8th, registration will open for NELBA 41. It will be available at nelba.org. And I think we're really gonna pack the house this year. I mean, we were one of the few associations that really had a strong turnout last year, despite the timing and different variants rolling out. And mm -hmm. we, we, we demonstrated a great plan. It was a phenomenal event. Uh, some may say the best event we've had in recent time. We're gonna do that again this year. So register early and often effective August 8th. Sounds good. And finally, let's talk the Finseca Nailba merger. Uh, what's this the latest news on that front? All right, so all of the, you know, the behind the scenes work has been taking place since we last got together on brokerage in motion, you know, the integration of personnel, the integration of accounting, the integration of technology, um, things like that, that need to be done that were talked about and planned for, but when it comes time to actually doing it, it, it takes a while. And then there's just, you know, the culture of working together and having more resources. Like to be honest with you, Katie, it has been so refreshing approaching like the Nelba annual meeting this year and knowing there are so many more resources that the Finseca team has brought to Nelva exactly as we discussed during the listing tour, but now it's sort of coming to fruition. It's just freed us up with time to think about who's gonna be on that main stage, what panel sessions are we gonna have, what industry and profession speakers are we gonna have, and then what paid speakers we're gonna have. It's just a different feel this year. Um, so it, the official date is September 1st, will be the full legal integration and Nelba will be a brokerage community of Finseca. So exciting to see the plans starting to come together here. Really great info as always, Dan. Thanks so much. Awesome. Thanks, Katie. That is going to do it for this episode of Brokerage in Motion. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Leading the financial planning business, Simplicity Group is proud to support its distribution partners, advisors, and consumers with industry education and long-term consumer value. Step into the future with Simplicity Group. Visit simplicitygroup.com for more information.